Hello everyone, Brad once again, High Altitude Scale Modeling. Today, we're going to look at a bit of armor. The new Tamiya Late Production Hummel Kit. Just got it in. Actually sold one to um, Steve Sutton. He's got himself one too. And, by separately, you can get this beautiful rifled metal gun barrel that we'll look at too. So, as I said, just got in. Still wrapped. There's one beautiful camouflage scheme. I've seen some pictures of this. There's another camouflage scheme. And three figures you get. In one of the museums, talking about the gun barrel, I've seen pictures of it. And there's big chunks out of all these road wheels in the museum one. So check out your references. You can do some nice detailing. Let's cut us off some of this here. Shrink wrap. For all you armor enthusiasts, this kit number is miniature series number 367, German heavy self-propelled howitzer Hummel, late production, 15 centimeter or whatever all that says, SDKFZ165, that I can read, and look at that, I don't know if it comes with the toolbox or not, and the ammo stand, but we're about to find out, together as one, us. Well, how's that for typical Tamiya plastic? Beautiful, sand color, there's your regular barrel, there's your figures, there's some poly caps, some mini screwdriver in there, screws, we'll get to all that. Road wheels, length and link, link and link tracks, instructions, decals, tools, things. And the bottom of the box goes out of the way. Camera comes down. And we've got your typical Tamiya staples. And we all complain about it, but they're never going to change. So, let's just live with it. There you go. What can you say about Tamiya plastic? It's beautiful. It feels right. Makes a nice sound when you're moving it around. It's just Tamiya plastic. It is what it is. It's good quality, highly detailed. Wonderful stuff. So, let's keep going, keep on trucking. Next, in our Tamiya stapled bags, we have matching sets of road wheels, idler arms, sprockets. You ever built the Tamiya armor kit before? They are wonderfully simple and beautifully detailed. And, you know, zero flash. You know, you take one of your um, whole things that I don't have in front of me right now to spray the wheels, you spray them black, then you spray the detail inside. You know, springs on there look really nice. It's just, it's just Tamiya. Which is why we keep buying and building them. Another set of matching sprues, this time the tracks. I'm sure there will be some frugal tracks for those of you who want the extra detail. Now, are these really matching sprues? Or do they both just have tracks on them? They are matching sprues. So, the sag's built into it. They're just going to make up nice. There's a couple of antennas you're going to have to be careful of. Some grab handles, I'm assuming. There's some boxes. These are your shells we talked about. Here's one of your tow hooks that goes on the end of that black cable we were looking at earlier. It sits right in there and gets glued in. You can just say, look at that. 
Yeah, it's not as detailed as Furl Tracks. It doesn't have the weight of Furl Tracks. Shells are all one piece. Backs of the shells. But, you know, some of us don't want to always do Furl Tracks. I do Furl Tracks from time to time. There's one of the vents that's opened up. Sometimes you just don't want to. You just want to build a kit and get onto the diorama. So, two of those. And of course, it has, it has two sides. And we have a really big, long, fat screw that's got the gun barrel that you're not going to need to use unless you don't buy the metal barrel, which is not a requirement, no matter what people say. Spare tracks. The plastic just feels nice. The detail just looks nice. There's your machine gun. Doesn't have a hollowed out barrel, but that's not difficult to do. All these tiny little fragile parts. They're just going to go all over it. There's your cleaning tool. Mantlet. Some more storage boxes. And beautiful detail in that gun. All the detail in there. Rivets. Detail in the storage box. All these tiny little fragile parts. Again, your gun barrel. Right there. You know, it's got guides to put it together and the seam won't be hard to clean up, so the metal barrel is not a requirement. I don't care what anybody tells you. And more of the big important parts. The skirts, the sides, the interior, because you know it doesn't have a turret. It's just got a gun. Well, that beautiful diamond plate texture on there. It's just so finely detailed. No ejector pin marks, no sink marks. See some swirl lines, but that's where the plastic comes together. Opening hatches, there's some more of that beautiful diamond plating. I'd say almost scale thickness armor right there. You see that? There you go. Detail inside the skirts. I don't get the floor. You can see there's a lot of ejector pins under there, but you're going to see it anyway. There. These ones you might see all over here. Because this is the inside. Here. So, you're going to need to clean that up. Make it look good. But a diamond texture on there. Can you see that? See how wonderful that is? The molds must have cost a fortune. That's it for sprues except for the people. Sammy's people have been getting better over the years. I used to have some really unpleasant looking people. But they've taken more pride and more time to make them nice looking, poseable, separate hats, three heads, another hat, so you can go like the scene in front or you can simply do some adjustments, there's one of those storage boxes we were talking about, look detail in the uniforms, detail in the face, arms, Hats. Very well done. I do not want to open this because I will lose them. Polycaps, polycaps, polycaps. Screwdriver, tow rope, different sizes of polycaps. There are some tiny screws and metal pins right there. And then there's small polycaps, medium polycaps, large polycaps tow rope, screwdriver. I would lose them. 
Show me decals, armor decals, not very much. Although, yeah, there's a placard, a couple placards in there. Nice, nice touch. A bunch of little parts. Nice touch. Again, be careful when you're taking decals out of the staples. This is in Japanese. I don't speak Japanese. Oh, look. English. Just for you to freeze and read. German. Again, freeze and read. Nice color callouts. Of course, Tamiya paints. And they got the LP paints, which is their new lacquer paints. Break down some of the parts. And an actual picture from the one in the tank museum. That's a very nice touch. And warnings, information about the kit, tips, tech tips, cleaning up, painting, gluing. Another nice little touch. And you got your great big, sorry for the bump, Tammy instructions for the Hummel, which it's so big it's got to be like that. You want you to turn it like that, open it up, tools required, warnings, everything else, and you're going to start with wheels, tires, not really tires, but road wheels, your basic parts of your bottom hull just like you do with most Tammy armor kits. Cut away some parts, pay attention to that. Cut away some more parts, pay attention to that. Maybe go through and mark it up. More hull parts going together, exhaust pipes, suspension parts. Here's where some of your poly caps are going. Some more of your poly caps and wheels, road wheels, sprockets. Maybe you want to put those on after. Same with the tracks, how they're going to go on. A nice little diagram how it should lay. There's your one panel where everyone climbs aboard. There's the top of your fender skirts. And some more hooks. Hatches. Front of the howitzer tank. Road machine. Storage boxes. There's your gun getting put together, mounted on. There are the side panels and the tools going inside. Your weapons shelf. And this is some of those metal parts. They're going in to support the gun barrel. Okay, two poly caps. This metal part going on supporting the gun barrel so it can hit it. And more. There's your actual gun, your breech, your to raise and lower your gun. There's where one your screws is going. Keep an eye out on that stuff so you get it done correctly. Hoping there's a way to cover it so it doesn't look like there's a big giant screw in there. There's putting together your plastic gun barrel with all of its parts. And more, the matlet. And let's see the breech. And traverse wheels. Front armor plating, which I showed you is probably scale thickness. Attaching the gun elevation parts and the crank. And there's your tow rope and your cable that came with it. Showing you how to glue that on, wrap it up, put it on there. Raising the barrel. And painting schemes with your XF colors for your barrel clean out. There's your shovel. There's your spare road wheels. Another hatch. There's how you paint and decal your shells. That's what all those little decals are for. And your propellant canisters. You've got to cut something off of that. Here's how to position your guys and paint them. There's your extra storage boxes standing on there to load the shells. 
for your little diorama scene and painting, applying decals. And your parts code in case something happens you need to reorder. There you have it. Here, put your color collapse, I forgot to show you. There you have it. A beautiful piece of Tamiya armor. And look at that. How's that not going to look nice in a diorama sitting on your shelf? So, buy it. Sit your ass in the chair and build it. This one, right here. Build it. I want to see it. Thanks for watching. Everybody have a great weekend. Great week. Bye bye. And guess what? I forgot to look at the middle gun barrel. Silly, silly me. It's stapled and sealed. Sometimes I just think I wouldn't forget my head if it wasn't attached. Metal gun barrel. Nice. Anything in here? Yes. Instructions. There you go. Instant cement. That's what you need to use, it says right there. Just put some plastic parts around it. That's it. One sheet. Gun barrel is heavy. Of course, because it's turned probably aluminum, there's no seam line. Feels nice. And you've got rifling down the barrel, which you probably won't be able to see. But there it is, the beautiful middle gun barrel. So I'll just slap this on the end of the video because I forgot. You're definitely going to want to use a good primer on this. Primer on metals. Sometimes can be very tricky. But they do make metal primers. There you go. Excuse my mistake. I like how the box art shows look good on it. Because you don't know where it goes if you don't have that. There we go. Thanks for watching my addendum. Bye bye. Bye.